Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for uh, another video here. Um, today I'll be talking about uh, one of my favorite rods in my lineup right now. This is the Mega Bass Destroyer. Um, this is the highest rod that uh, Mega Bass has to offer in the U.S. market. And uh, this particular model is the FMJ. So it's a 7-1 uh, medium heavy action um, with a fast taper so um, FMJ features a high graphite system and the axis multi-axis construction which is ideally dealt uh, made for um, jig fishing so that's primarily what I use it for um, it's rated for three eighths to an ounce and a quarter so my favorite like you know my favorite thing to throw on it is a three eighths jig or half ounce jig on it uh, very super sensitive rod which I love and it just has an awesome awesome build quality to it um, it features a nice cork grip with the gold accents here Let's see the gold trims almost like a carbon fiber finish here too as well that's epoxy over it but uh, it also has the um, I get bass Destroy logo at the bottom there for you. So that's just kind of the handle here. Um, but yeah, nice cork grip. Uh, this this does have the U40 on it, so it does look a little bit darker than normal. Uh, the trigger finger here. Uh, this is one of the only things that I dislike about the rod is that the trigger finger seems smaller than usual, but that's kind of normal for the Mega Bass. That's kind of how my Double Rochi is too as well. But um, it's a little bit smaller in terms of length so the length is not as long when you compare it to your adrena it's just a lot longer and it just feels nicer in the hand whereas the destroyer seems like it's very very short so not not a major killer but definitely a big difference there uh, especially with people with bigger hands bigger fingers like myself so but other than that i mean this rod is, is awesome fantastic super sensitive beautiful beautiful finish um, I will be talking about comparison between the NRX and Adrena in a short second, but I just want to finish talking about the finish of this. Uh, it's such a beautiful rod all the way throughout. doesn't have a hook keeper, so I have the Fuji hook keeper here. Got some accents there. You can see that. Um, so I got the, the gold purple in there too as well. And the combo to the guides here has the gold and purple in there too as well. Very nice guides in there from mega bass your typical mega bass um, quality here so definitely an awesome awesome rod super sensitive now i want to take the rest of the video here to kind of talk about this compared to the adrena and the nrx so um, these are the flagships for these three companies you have the nrx for g loomis or the conquest it's another flagship you have the Poison Adrena for Shimano, and then you have the Destroyer for the Mega Bass. So, obviously, we know the NRX is the most sensitive rod out there. This is the best rod that you can, that money can buy. Ultra sensitive, uh, high sensitivity levels, good for bottom contact. You have your Adrena, which is arguably uh, up there too as well. And I think the reason being is because you talk about the full carbon handle here, how I did in my other video. And then you have your Mega Bass Destroyer. So um, is the sensitive is the sensitivity on a destroyer um, good? Yes, it's very good. It's very awesome. Um, super sensitive. You can hit rocks. You can feel everything. You can determine if you're fishing rock bottom, you know, grass, you bite. I mean, everything. You can. You know, you're going to be setting hooks on a lot of things with this guy. Um, but is it as sensitive as your Adrena and your NRX? Um, I would have to say that it's not. But and let me kind of break it down a little bit here. So the sensitivity for these two are great. You you feel everything. You you know every little thing is you can feel. How same thing with the Mega Bass. However, the intensity level with the NRX and the Adrena is just much more compared to the Destroyer. So I, I kind of relate it to when you're listening to uh, a, a song or, or audio quality and it's pitch perfect audio quality. You have these. Whereas there's a little bit of muffledness with this. So you can still feel it. It's super sensitive still, but there is just a higher intensity of sensitivity when you talk about your Adrena and the NRX. So uh, yes, the rod is still awesome. It's still great. I use it for jigs. It's still super sensitive. Um, but is it as sensitive as these two? No, it's not. So 
I just kind of want to do a little bit of comparison for those. However, talking about quality, this quality, the quality on the Mega Bass Destroyer does not lack whatsoever. Uh, it's right up there with the Adrena. Everything is perfect from the guides, from the epoxies, from the cork handle. Everything is just perfect. There's no extra epoxy. There's nothing wrong with the wraps. Everything is just so perfect about it, just like the Poison Adrena. So uh, that's a plus side for it. Uh, one of the downsides on Mega Bass is obviously the warranty. Um, three year warranty for a $400 rod. Not the greatest, but not terrible. But uh, when you're talking about your warranty with your NRX, that's that's why people pay you know extra money for the value, uh, for the warranty, and for the sensitivity. So overall, uh, three great rods here. These are three of my top rods that I have right now. Uh, I will be talking about the Steez, and I will be comparing between these four in another video. But um, just wanted to talk about my Destroyer. Um, and uh, kind of give you my two thoughts on it. The action on it is a fast, um, however, it almost feels like an extra fast. Um, it's a, it's not really a broomstick, but at the same time, it still um, uh, feels, I guess, like a like an extra fast. But at the same time, it still delivers the amount of sensitivity, so I use it for jigs. So I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, but uh, yeah, so just want to do a quick comparison for these. So uh, overall, again great 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 rod um and uh you know thanks for tuning in for another video just want to thank you guys so much for um you know watching uh if you guys can please like and subscribe as it does help the channel make some additional content here um but other than that thanks and uh take care